In this video, I will be showing you how you can make a professional community Discord server, just like this. We will start by making four different categories. Right click on the blank area and choose create category. The first category will have all the info so I will name it get started. The second category will be a community category where members can chat with each other. The third category will be a voice channel and fourth one will be a private management category. We will start off with the first category. Click on the plus icon to create a channel. Name it whatever you want. I will name it welcome channel. The second one will be an about me channel. The third one will be an info channel. Five minutes later. So I made a bunch of channels. Now I want to show you how you can make voice channels like this that have limitations on users joining it. Click on the edit channel icon. Go to the bottom section and change the user limit to two members. Now only two members can join these channels. Do the same with the trio and squad channels. A few moments later. Now here comes the important tip. Go to server settings. Disable all the system messages except when someone boosts the server. And change the default notification settings to only mentions. Or else, you will get pinged every time a user sends a message in the server. Let's create some roles for the community server. Go to the roles section and click the create role button. So the first role will be the founder role. Choose any color that you would like to have. Enable the display role members option. Click on the permissions tab and enable all the permissions for this role. A few moments later. Click on the plus icon to create another role. I will name it admin role. Go to the permissions tab and scroll to the bottom section. Enable Administrator Permission. This will give all the admin permissions to the role. Now let's make the Moderator role. Go to the Permissions tab and enable the following permissions. This is what I usually do. You can change them if you want to. I'll make two more roles. Firstly, a helper role for the support tickets. If you wanna learn how to set up ticket support on the server, then let me know in the comments section. The second one will be a member role. This role will be assigned to all the new members who joins the server. Disable all the permissions for both members and the helper role. Lastly, we will create a role for the bots. Make sure to enable administrator permissions for this role so that bots can work freely in the server. Now let's take these boring categories and channels to the next level by adding some symbols. I've mentioned these symbols in the description so you can easily copy them.
For each channels, I will be using different emojis with a dot symbol. You can add any of your favorite emojis for these channels. Now let's change the permissions for all the channels. The easiest way of doing this is to change the permissions for each category and sync the rest of the channels under that category. Right click on the first category and choose edit category. Go to the permissions tab, click on the plus icon to add a new role. Choose the members role, enable the following permissions as this category has important information. I will be disabling the send message permissions so that members can only view the channel and cannot send any messages in these channels. I will just change one permission for the announcement channel. Enable the ad reactions permission so that they can react with an emoji whenever there's a new announcement in this channel. Now we will add the permissions for the community category. Usually for a community server, I enable the following permissions. Feel free to copy my permissions. I will change only the text channel permissions because this category has only text channels. I will just change one permission for the bot channel. Enable the use application command. Once this permission is enabled, members can use bot commands in this channel. Let's add the permissions for the voice channel category. I usually enable the following permissions for all the voice channels on the server. Feel free to copy these settings. Now for the management category, we will just disable the view channel permission for everyone. We will be changing the permissions for each of the channels this time. Let's start with the management channel. This channel is going to be used by both the helper and the moderators. I will be enabling the same permissions as we did for the community category. You might be wondering why I didn't change the permissions for the admin channel. Admins can access any channels on the server, so we don't need to change any permissions for them. Lastly, we will change the management VC channel permissions. Now here comes the last step, which will make the server look more professional. We will be using Sapphire to automatically assign member roles whenever new users joins the server. I'll click the link in the description, which will take you to the Sapphire homepage. Click on the Add to Discord button. Here, you will choose the server in which you want the bot to be added. Click on Continue button. Just give all the permissions so that the bot can work properly. Click on Authorize. Now this will take you to the Sapphire dashboard. If you've not used this bot, don't panic. We just need to do a simple thing here. On the left side of your screen, click on the Join Roles option. Under the Roles tab, click on the plus icon and add the member's role. Disable the Rules Screening option, and we're done. Now, let's open up the Discord. Click on your server name, go to Server Settings, then go to the Roles tab. Just move the Sapphire bot above all the roles so that it can work properly. And voila, we're done, right? No, of course not. Now we will enable the community feature on our server. Go to the server settings. Scroll to the bottom and click on the Enable Community option. Click on the Get Started button. Enable both options. Now for the first option, where it says 
Rules or Guidelines channel. Choose a channel where you have posted your server rules. This channel should be seen by everyone. Now for the second option. Choose a private channel that is not accessible to everyone. I will be choosing the management channel. Click on the next button. You can pause the video and read all of this. Just for now, I will click on I agree and understand. Click on the finish setup button and voila, we are finally done.